my dad, uh, he's the definition of charisma, of passion, of enthusiasm, and of optimism. I remember uh, we were at an Iowa football game um, a couple of years back. He's the biggest Iowa football fan. And um, they were four and eight the year before. So four wins, eight losses for those of you who don't know football. Um, but he was so confident. Uh, he was so confident that they were going to win a national championship. And me, you know, his, his young kid, he got me so excited. And he was like, let's go. They're going to win a national championship. Um, you know, he just, he, it's so uplifting and it's so positive and it's so fun to be around. I have learned so much from you, dad. So thank you. And mom, you are the definition of will, of nothing is impossible of drives. And you have taught me to always follow my passion. Do what I feel is right, not what others think that I should do. I am always going to choose my own path and carve my own path. And I may be labeled as a disruptor by many, but I know by the few who, who know me well and know me personally like you, that I learned that from you, mom. And I'm not a disruptor. I am a man who is trying to inspire a group of people to make a change, to be the change, because this is the only way that we can grow as a community. And this is just a start. Let me make that clear. This is just a start of what we are going to do together. Um, now, I remember there was a story from my mom. We went to Indianapolis uh, for my brother Derek's swim meet. And we got there. Um, actually, I was there too. We got there and Derek checked the swim bag and he was like, oh gosh, I uh, forgot my suit. My for, for those of you who don't know, swimmers, they have like tech suits. So they're super tight. They're expensive. They are, you know, jammers, but they're, he, he forgot his nice suit. Um, and my mom was like, okay, no problem. I'll just grab back and get it. We got there at 10 p.m. She went back to Holland. She drove back to Holland. She got to Holland at 5 a.m., back to Indianapolis at 10 a.m. She drove 15 hours in a row for my brother to swim his race. And, and Derek swam incredible, um, but we were surrounded by someone who did not uh, say no to a daunting task because it was daunting and never um, put it in her head that something was impossible. If there's a will, there's a way. So thank you, mom, for showing me um, that I need to follow my passion and I, I need to do what I think is best for me and that I am never going to doubt myself. So thank you, mom. Um, next, I want to talk about and thank my oldest brother, Kyle. Kyle, you are the best role model that any younger brother could ask for. Um, for those of you who don't know Kyle, um, he is just the best role model. He is consistent. He shows up and he will not let you down. He is a hard worker and he is someone that I look up to. Um, he, a fun fact about Kyle is actually, he has never sworn you know, this man is in his mid-20s and he has never sworn. I have never heard a cuss word come out of his mouth. I remember there was times we would listen to uh, some rap songs. I would play, I would have the aux and I would play his uh, um, his favorite song and I had a few cuss words. And no, he didn't. He didn't. Even when we tried to bait him, even when we paused it right before uh, the F-bomb, he still wouldn't. So thank you, Kyle, for being the best role model you know, a younger brother like me could ask for. Uh, next, I want to thank Jenna. Jenna, you are so empathetic. You are selfless. And you have been someone that I can count on when I'm down and when I feel like I need to talk to someone who's not going to judge, who is going to try to hear me out from my perspective, not immediately jump to conclusions, and most importantly, not judge. So thank you, Jenna, for showing me that, you know, it, it, it's, it's not something where you, uh, nobody has the right to say what you're doing is wrong or say what you're doing is right because they're not you. And 
you have always tried to listen to me and just hear me out, hear my perspective, um, because that's all you cared about. All you wanted to do was hear me. So thank you, Jenna. Um, Jenna is, is, is so, 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 so empathetic, and I, I could not be appreciative. Um, I could not be more appreciative for all that you've done for me. And last but not least, Derek, my roommate of 15 years growing up, Thank you, Derek, for showing me what true work ethic is, what true um, consistency is, and um, allowing yourself uh, to let what maybe might bring others down and factors that maybe m might make others give up, you let that motivate you and you let, you, you let that make you be a better person, make you be a better swimmer, make you be a better doctor. This man is incredible. And for, I mean, yeah, if, I'm going to tell a little story about Derek. When he was a sophomore, he didn't have the best year when he was swimming. You know, there's a lot of factors with, uh, you know, the virus and with certain regulations on swimming times and this and that. There was, there's a lot of things that, that maybe set him back. But Derek had a down year, his sophomore year. Um, but you know what he did? He few, he let that and he let his sophomore experience and his sophomore pain of not swimming the best he could motivate him. And he let that fuel the fire of exploding in his junior year of college. Uh, this man is, he won three SEC titles uh, in swimming. And thank you, Derek, for showing me that anything's possible but also showing me that, you know, you got to have a motivator and something, you got to have an edge if you want to be successful. You got to have the edge. Um, so I always look for any sort of edge I can. And thank you, Derek, for, for teaching me. You, maybe you didn't even teach me. You didn't even realize you were teaching me, but um, you showed me that you need an edge to be successful. Park Township needs an edge. Uh, and ladies and gentlemen, writing me in gives us that edge. Um, we want we want uh, someone with my perspective on our team. But thank you to all of my family. They they are the definition. I, I could never live up to what they're doing because every single one of them um, is dedicating and sacrificing the rest of their life uh, for the better good of our community. My mom and dad are both radiologists of over 30 years, reading x-rays, reading MRIs, reading CTs, um, and telling the surgeons uh, which, which you know, bones are broken, which tendons are snapped, which nerves are uh, shattered. I, I don't know. I'm not a big doctor, but um, they are, and they are so smart, and they're so willing to help. But that's what doctors do. That's what the people in medicine do. Uh, Kyle and Derek are both in med school at NYU and at Vanderbilt. And Jenna is an occupational therapist. They have all dedicated their life um, for the better good of humanity and the better good of our community. So thank you. Um, thank you to my whole family, because I know you're watching. Thank you to my whole family for showing me... Uh, to be selfless, you know, to think about the community first and yourself second. So thank you guys.